Hello, uh, this is day 33 of my leg lengthening journey. Uh, I had a one inch femur, a little over an inch, like 1.1 inch discrepancy in my right femur due to a childhood accident. Um, I stopped growing, uh, I stopped the distraction yesterday, uh, day 32 at approximately 26 and a half millimeters, uh, so pretty close to 1.1 inches. Um, the x-rays were a little problematic the last week. Uh, just was not getting accurate readings or uh, differing readings. So I had an x-ray on Tuesday and I had an x-ray on Saturday. So uh, two days ago and about uh, almost a week ago. Uh, the x-ray a week ago said I still had a centimeter left um, of growth to even the, the, the hips. Uh, and the x-ray on Saturday actually said the same thing, I had a centimeter left. but. I had a physical examination this morning. Um, the physical therapist did a uh, you know physical uh, comparison by lining up my uh, feet while I was lying on um, a flat surface on a table, uh, and everything lined up pretty much right on. Uh, and I feel, you know, I feel my hips feel aligned. Um, so the doctor basically said, you know what, it's all about you and how you feel at this point. The X-rays are not perfect. Um, if you're not standing the right way, the measurements won't be right. So at this point, I have not distracted for a little over 24 hours. Um, I feel a lot better by not doing that. I can pretty much walk without a cane, but as you can see with the cane, if I walk without a cane, I'm limping, but with the cane, it helps a lot. It's helped me a lot with the cane. But yesterday, I could not have done this, um, or at least it would have been a lot harder. So um, day 33 after surgery, I have now corrected a 1.1 inch discrepancy in my legs, uh, and I am now able to start recovery in my opinion. Really hard, at least for me, it was really hard to really do with, you know, work on strengthening, work on those exercises. Obviously, I was trying to maintain flexibility uh, while I was growing, but uh, I did not really feel like I could consistently do the exercises I needed to do to strengthen. So I got a number of x-rays, uh, excuse me, a number of strengthening exercises today at physical therapy. That's now going to become part of my daily routine. Um, where I'm weakest ended up being not my quad, it's really the weakest I am on the side. Now that was also the weakest just due to my leg length discrepancy. I always compensated with this good leg. Um, and I don't know if you can see it in the, in, the, uh, in the picture or the video here, but my outer thigh is much more defined uh, on that side than it is on this side. It's quite flat. That was actually the case beforehand as well, but it's you know, certainly exaggerated at this point after sitting around for a month. But my quads and my hamstrings really aren't that bad. Um, definitely the abductor is where I have the most weakness. So. Uh, I have to give a major thumbs up to the surgery. Um, I will say that uh, it's been mentally tough and it will continue to be as I recover. Um, but uh, I've had a few out of the 30, well, what was it? Out of the 32 days I just, well, 32 days of post surgery, um, of that I distracted approximately 26. Um, uh, there were two out of those days that were really hard. Um, so two out of 26 that were painful, uh, where I did not want to move. Uh, the others, uh, not that bad. The last week after those two days um, were harder than the first couple weeks. But uh, overall, um, if, you're, if you have a similar discrepancy, a similar type of situation, um, I consider this to be life-changing. I consider myself, I, I plan on having a full recovery. Uh, I plan on being as active or more active than I was before. Uh, I bought my first pair of shoes uh, a couple of days ago and just about cried because I don't have to have them lifted. Um, just that ability to be able to pick out the shoes that I want, the type of activity I want. Um, really hard to get some types of shoes to, to lift. Um, hiking shoes were hard for me because hiking shoes in, you know, are, are in nature heavier than, than at least historically they have been. Um, and a lot of the soles that uh, exist today that are lighter are not easy to lift. So 
huge, huge impact for my life, I expect, uh, already it is, and I expect it to continue to be. So my journey, I'll, I'll give some video updates as I continue recovery, but uh, I am past the growth phase, and I consider myself, I, I, I joke that I'm a grown-up at this point. Thanks for watching.